Welcome to Around the Weird. Here's your host, the museum curator of the strange and unusual, Mr. Nothing. Thank you, Mysterious Voice, and welcome back to Around the Weird, a booktube channel where I talk about all the unusual and out-of-the-ordinary literature that I have found in my travels. Uh, Today, it is Poetry Thursday, a wonderful day to talk about all the beautiful poetry that exists in the world, sometimes by well-known poets, and other times by poets that I just found and I wanted to share with you. Today... Today, today is one of the latter poets. Um, I'll be talking about Passion for Solitude uh, by Cesare Pavesi um, and translated by Jeffrey Brock. Uh, so for those that don't know, Cesare Pavesi uh, is, was an Italian poet uh, who wrote in the, uh, the early part of the 1900s. Um, he was also a, a novelist, um, wrote short stories, um, essays, stuff like that. Um, uh, I, he was also associated with the Communist Party, which became somewhat of a problem in the, in the 1930s and 40s when the fascists took over Italy. Uh, he, um, he was jailed uh, for a time for being associated with the Communist uh, and um, after he got out uh, of jail, he was kind of bitter. Um, he also didn't, um, he didn't really serve in World War II. Um, he was kind of just uh, stuck um, in, a, in a camp of some sort. Uh, not not uh, like a, uh, a training camp of some sort because he was, you know, he was still sided with Italy at the time. Uh, so yeah, he, um, he dealt with a lot of that. And then, um, unfortunately at the end of his life, he killed himself because of, um, of a failed relationship in his life. Uh, so not the, not the most optimistic of, of people, not the most brightest of lives out there. Uh, but, uh, his poetry is still very interesting to me. Um, th- this poem in particular that, that I'm checking out, uh, really struck me. Um, and there's a number of other poets, uh, poems that he's written that, that I've really, uh, enjoyed reading. So without further ado, let's talk about Passion for Solitude. I'll read it, do a little analysis, and we will move on from there. Passion for Solitude. I'm eating a little supper by the bright window. The room's already dark, the sky's starting to turn. Outside my door, the quiet road roads lead after a short walk to open fields. I'm eating, watching the sky. Who knows how many women are eating now? My body is calm. Labor dulls all the senses and dulls women too. Outside, after supper, the stars will come out to touch the wide plain of the earth. The stars are alive, but not worth these cherries, which I'm eating alone. I look at the sky, know that lights already are shining among rust red roofs, noises of people beneath them. A gulp of my drink and my body can taste the life of plants and of rivers. It feels detached from things, a small dose of silence suffices, and everything's still, in its true place, just like my body is still. All things become islands before my senses which accept them as a matter of course, a murmur of silence. All things in this darkness, I can know all of them, just as I know that blood flows in my veins. The plain is a great flowing of water through plants, a supper of all things. Each plant and each stone lives motionlessly. I hear my food feeding my veins with each living thing that this plain provides. The night doesn't matter. The square patch of sky whispers all the loud noises to me, and a small star struggles in emptiness, far from all foods, from all houses, alien. It isn't enough for itself. It needs too many companions. Here in the dark, alone, my body is calm. It feels it's in charge. And that was Passion for Solitude uh, by Cesare Pavesi. A pretty interesting poem about a man feeling content with himself uh, in solitude uh, and comparing himself to uh, the the stars and um, also taking note of what's going on around him. Uh, I really like how he paints a picture of uh, of the world around him, um, starting with the very beginning. He says, I'm eating a little supper by the bright window. The room's already dark. The sky's starting to turn. Outside my door, the quiet roads lead after a short walk to open fields. 
uh, really painting a vibrant picture of, of what's going on around him. Just sitting in, um, in his kitchen, maybe looking out the window and seeing the sunset um, as, a, as, a, as a pathway leads out to the countryside. Um, I, I, I could really picture myself in that moment as well, which I, I think is what's, what's mo most beautiful about this poem. Uh, he also says, I look at the sky, know that lights already are shining among rust red roofs and noises of people beneath them. Uh, so um, you got people sitting down to eat dinner, um, and you got a pretty uh, beautiful picture of what the roofs look like and how the stars might be already be shining upon them. Uh, I, I really like that part. Um, it's, it's also interesting to see him talk about mindfulness in this poem, uh, specifically being there in the moment and, and feeling all, all that you're feeling. A good example of this is in the second verse. Gulp of my drink. And my body can taste the life of plants and of rivers. It feels detached from things. A small dose of silence suffices and everything's still in its true place. Just like my body is still. Um, and then he goes on to talk about uh, the blood in his body. Um, and uh, how he can feel things in his veins. And it's like he's, he's aware of all the sensations of, of what happens when he takes a drink. And he can taste the, the life. That, that once held that water, what was once in that water or something like that. Um, and he's, he's really there in the present moment rather than thinking about other things. Although he does seem to be indicating that he's thinking of women. Uh, and I wonder if this is uh, later in his life when he was, uh, when he was uh, focused on one specific woman that, that didn't really pan out for him. Um, it's, it, it's, um, it's interesting how that, that comes in where he's like, I'm not thinking of women, but he also, he wrote about women. So clearly he is thinking about, uh, women and the stars. Um, and, uh, but he's also, he's also there in the present moment, which is nice. Um, and then what strikes me, um, the final thing is the last verse of this poem. Uh, he says, the night doesn't matter. The square patch of sky whispers all the loud noises to me, and a small star struggles in emptiness, far from all foods, from all houses, alien. It isn't enough for itself. It needs too many companions. Here in the dark alone, my body is calm. It feels it's in charge. And that really strikes me because of how he's talking about the star. Uh, most poems wax poetic about the uh, about the stars. Um, they're like, oh, the stars are beautiful. But here he's he's saying the star is is the most lonely and empty because it needs other stars. Um, it needs the re the rest of space uh, to to content itself. Whereas uh, compared to uh, Cesare, the narrator in this poem, he, the, he's very content and happy in his moment. Uh, by himself. He doesn't need anything else. All he needs is, is himself. Uh, whether or not that's actually true uh, remains to be seen. Uh, but I love the comparison between him and the star in the poem. Anyway, those are my thoughts on Passion for Solitude, a pretty wonderful poem uh, that I feel gets at um, uh, being happy alone and being mindful of, of what's going on around you, just being in the, in the present moment rather than thinking about the far future or stuff that happened in the past. Uh, if uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna link to it in the uh, description so that you can find it and read it. Perhaps you will enjoy it. Uh, um, you can also uh, comment below what you thought about it um, and let me know if or just let me know what you think of my review. Um, I'd be happy to hear from you and we can have a discussion about Cesar Le Pe Pevezi uh, and his interesting poems. And in the meantime, I invite you to like, share, and subscribe so that other people can find out about Poetry Thursday and interesting poets like Cesare Le Pavesi. Um, and in the meantime, I wish you the best of luck in your weird and solitudinal travels. Farewell.